Okay, I'm definitely biased. Hedwig and the Angry Inch has been my absolute favorite musical ever since my parents took me to see it off-Broadway when I was 15. I have really cool parents. So of course I've seen Neil Patrick Harris, Andrew Rannells, and Michael C. Hall play the transgender East German rocker on Broadway. But you really haven't seen Hedwig until you've seen co-creator and original star John Cameron Mitchell, who's stepping back into the heels for the first time in 15 years. He's written a bunch of new jokes for the show, the kick-ass rock songs sound even better than ever, and he's brought back his classic vintage wig. You have to see the original Hedwig in the flesh yourself at the Belasco Theater, but don't say I didn't warn you. You never know when Hedwig's gonna surprise you with a spit shower or a car wash. If it were up to me, everyone would take a break from TV binge watching and head to Classic Stage Company for a month in the country. Forget the words Russian classic and Turgenev, and focus on the superb acting from Orange is the New Black's Taylor Schilling and Game of Thrones star Peter Dinklage. The play is about everything from unrequited love, to boredom, to aging, to the humiliation and thrill of a first flirtation. The cast is appealing in every way, the jokes land, the tiny CSC stage suddenly feels like a vast, sunny estate, and the audience gets a close-up look at the chaos and lust sparked by the arrival of a young tutor. Who knew that Tyrion Lannister and Piper Chapman would be such a dream duo? Nick Payne's Constellations is the best show I've seen on Broadway in months. It's an intense two-hander starring Oscar nominee Jake Gyllenhaal and 2015 Golden Globe winner Ruth Wilson, and their chemistry is electric. The play tells a story of one relationship with infinite possibilities. My mind was fully engaged throughout, and I loved the look of the show. The stage is covered in futuristic balloons. Plus, Constellations' 65 scenes are over and done with in 68 minutes, so you can have dinner at a reasonable hour. Get yourself over to MDC Samuel J. Freeman Theatre ASAP. Last year, Gavin Creel won an Olivier Award for his outstanding performance as Elder Price in the original West End mounting of the Book of Mormon. And this month, you absolutely have to see him as the handsome and arrogant Mormon missionary in the Tony-winning tuner at Broadway's Eugene O'Neill Theatre. Listen, we've all heard the crazy accolades paid to this show, and every single one of them is true, so I won't bore you with repeating them. But I will tell you that seeing what Creel does with this outrageous role is nothing short of captivating. The songs, the jokes, even the tender moments, everything feels re-energized. I feel so incredible to be sharing my faith in this show with you, and by the end, you'll be a believer too. Okay, here's a confession. I had no desire to sit through another version of Into the Woods after having just seen the pretty spectacular film over the holidays. Yet I was intrigued by the new off-Broadway staging at the Laura Pels Theater, mostly because I'd heard great things from its out-of-town runs. I'm so thrilled I gave in and journeyed into the woods once again because this Fiasco Theater production is nothing short of stunning. The whole show is very stripped down and looks nothing like any version of the musical that I've ever seen. The cast of Mostly Unknowns wear simple costumes and use everyday props to tell the fairy tale plot, and the whole thing kind of has the vibe of a group of friends getting together to tell one of their favorite stories. And this idea makes the show more moving and the themes of community and family more stirring than ever. Trust me when I tell you, you have to go to the woods for yourself. <laughs>